Steve Akeley here at the ABV Barrel Shop, and I've got a fun one for you today. I'm going to be tasting Dancing Goat, a quirkier toasted blend. So it is a blended bourbon that has been then rebarreled and toasted. We bought it as a single barrel here for the ABV Barrel Shop. Very interesting. Dancing Goat's one of my absolute favorite distilleries. So love going there, love hanging out with those guys, and they just have fun. I mean, uh, look on the back here. Jay and the non-silent Brady did the reblend. So uh, it, who, who would do, that's like an insider joke uh, that is just funny for them. I, we don't know who Jay and Unsilent Brady are. Maybe if you go to the distillery a lot, you know those guys. Uh, it's got to be cool for them, for sure. So I don't know. It's just the, the way they do things. They have fun. And shouldn't this business be fun? I mean, it's about, you know, drinking bourbon. I, I, I don't think it has to be stiff and corporate and uh, all those type of things. I think you can have fun like this. You can put an inside joke on the back label of your product. And, uh, and, and I'm one of these guys, I, I know this is an inside joke. Now we've got certain people that see this and they're like, what, what? what? I am confused. Brady, what? Just get it, it's an inside joke, whatever. It's funny. It's funny because they thought it was funny enough to put it on here. That's why it's funny. You don't have to know what the joke is. You don't have to understand the context of it. Just enjoy it for what it is. Someone put this on the back of a label of a product that is being sold, not out of their distillery, out of St. Louis, Missouri. How great is that? That's freaking hilarious if you let it be. If you're like, what? What? That's not funny. See that, that, what? That's not funny. This, that's funny. That's funny. I don't know what it means funny yeah it is anyway very psychedelic look to it love uh, what they do with their packaging they they add a little something different each time they're doing these things i, I it's just it, it's a fun company for sure now trying this uh, yeah i've tried it before i don't have one of these memory banks where i could write tasting notes from something that i tried four months ago or five months ago whenever we picked this it's been a while ago and this one got lost i i could do a whole video on the story of this pick and how it got lost and uh, how it got refound. I don't know. But there, let's give this thing a taste. Let's let's try it out. Again, I haven't tasted this. This came in yesterday. I wasn't here. I'd left for the afternoon. I thought, here we go again. I put out a note in our weekly newsletter saying it's coming out today, which I had done like the last two weeks <laughs> before this, and it didn't ever show up. Uh, one reason or another, one excuse after another. It did show up yesterday. Uh, two cases and two bottles short. What happened to those two cases and two bottles? No idea no idea probably never know much like this much like this i know that uh you know it's a problem i don't know why i just have to live with it just like i have to live with this being funny and not knowing why maybe i could make a call but i'm not going to i'm going to take it for what it is anyway i don't have this memory database bank where, where i could sit down and write the tasting notes from from tasting this at the distillery so this is almost like my first taste of this uh, it almost takes me back to that time when we did this I, you know, sometimes it'll bring back the memories of it. Sometimes it's just like, no, this is a standalone good product uh, on its own. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we picked it. Uh, that, that's all I can say. Uh, people act like they have this this memory, exact memory of, of everything that they taste. Unless it's something really unusual. Like uh, one time we did a, a pick at RD1, it tasted like chicken and waffles. Well, when that one uh, came in, I would assume I would be able to tell that one right away. I could pick it out of a blind lineup because it was so unique, so different. Uh, it, it tasted like chicken and waffles. So, um, it, savory notes and maple notes. It was, it was cool. So let's see here. Oh, on the nose. Fantastic. Man, it's got cake going on there. So you're, you're getting things from the baked aisles. You're getting spices. Uh, you're getting a, a little bit of a cornucopia of fruit. I mean, it's nice. It's very nice. Let's, let's try it. This is where it all matters. Nosing is great, but at the end of the day, why you're going to like a whiskey is, is tasting it. So here we go. Let's taste it. Man, I love that. This one comes in at uh, 108 proof. It, uh, it's got a nice finish that is still going right now. Just keeps going and going. Not overly um, uh, hot or anything like that. Just kind of that perfect sweet spot for what you're looking to uh, to have when you're drinking bourbon. This is uh, very sippable, uh, but but it also reminds you that it's there, which we which you want. Uh, today's bourbon fan is looking for for proof. I, I still say, and I know there's some that aren't, 
But for the most part, large uh, the largest contingent of people who are really, really into bourbon are, are leaning more towards higher proof. The proof needs to escalate. And this, this one holds up very nicely to that standard. Again, you've got a nice, sweet, fruity note on there. That toasted, uh, the barrel here that, that was used to finish this thing, it's bringing out those sweet notes. This one is incredible. I, I, I love it as is. I drink my whiskey neat, but if you're somebody who does a cocktail, man, this would add some incredible flavor. I, you know, if I am going to make cocktails, uh, I, I'm the type that uh, that will put in good good ingredients because it's going to make them for a better final product. This would be awesome for that. It's available here at the ABV Barrel Shop exclusively. Again, single barrel, $75 a bottle. Pick it up at the ABV Barrel Shop today. St. Louis, Missouri, uh, Arnold to be specific, a St. Louis suburb. So there you go. Thanks a lot for listening to this and hope to see you soon where you can taste this as we allow you to try before you buy.